after huffing it all day on the trail, the last thing that you're going to want to have to deal with when you get into camp is a major cooking episode with breaking out lots of pots and pans and putting things together. What you want is something that is going to be a delicious comfort food that's easy to make, that's easy to carry with you, and that tastes delicious. And I've got just the recipe for you. This time on Vegan Packer, cheeseburger tacos with corn chips that are so delicious it will have you coming back time and time again as this will be added to one of your list of favorites. Here's the list of equipment and ingredients that you're going to need to make this delicious meal. For this project, in addition to standard kitchen equipment, we'll need a food processor or an even better choice would be a Vitamix equipped with the dry bin that's used for milling grain. We'll also need a dehydrator and a good idea to have for this project is also going to be some type of kitchen scale to use for portioning. As in previous projects, I've started by taking this can of coconut milk and I've placed it in the refrigerator for about 8 to 12 hours before starting. That way I can open the can, scoop the cream off of the top and drain the liquid and dispose of that and the cream is what we'll be using for this project. To make about 5 to 6 servings of this dish we're going to need some tortillas, 3.5 tablespoons plus 1 teaspoon of Bragg's liquid aminos, and I suggest using this actual brand instead of just generic soy sauce because it imparts a much better flavor on the final dish. One teaspoon of oregano, a quarter teaspoon of hickory flavored liquid smoke, about a half cup more or less to taste of corn chips, two tablespoons of coconut cream, one cup of texturized vegetable protein, otherwise known as TVP, one ounce of vegan cheese sauce. I'm using the not cheese brand in the mild flavor, and five cups of water. Start by adding the TVP, the water, and two tablespoons, not the entire amount, but two tablespoons of the Bragg's to the mixture. Give it a stir to mix everything together. And then set the stove on high and bring this mixture to a boil. Once the TVP reaches a boil, Turn it down to medium or just slightly above that and then we're going to let almost all the water boil off before we do the next step. Once your TVP gets to the point where it's about 85 to 90 percent with the water evaporation, so you can see here what it looks like, this is when you're going to add the oregano and mix it in. Then we're going to continue paying attention to this and stirring it until it is completely dry almost, very, very close to dry. And at that point, we're going to add the remaining brags and the liquid smoke. Now that we've gotten to a point where you can see there really, anytime I move the TVP, there's no water really clinging behind in the bottom of the pan. There might still be some bubbling and some steam rising off, but we're now at the point where it's time to add the last of the brags and the liquid smoke. And then we're going to mix that around so that it gets thoroughly mixed in evenly with the TVP. Mm -hmm. 
And now we're going to really let the water boil off to the point where it is very dry and you'll see it'll start to stick to the bottom of the pan and there'll be almost no bubbling or anything because there won't be any water left and that's going to be when we're going to add the coconut cream. Now we're getting to the point where it's really dry and you can see it's starting to stick to the bottom of the pan and it's actually browning the part that's sticking to the bottom and that's what we're trying to do here for this step. So you want to kind of let it brown, spread it around a little bit, give it a minute, let it brown some more, scrape it off and move it around and disperse it and keep repeating that until it's really really dry you can see at this point there are no bubbles of water anymore in this and there's just a little bit of residual steam coming off you'll know that you're getting to a point where it's either done or nearly done when instead of making the sizzling sound that it makes when the water is boiling off it now starts to actually make crackling sounds. I'm not sure if that will be picked up on the mic, but I'll be quiet for a minute and let you hear it. So that sizzling sound that's now crackling and the fact that it's getting much harder to scrape it off of the bottom of the pan tells me that this is really getting here. Now that you've gone and dried this out we're going to come back and add the coconut cream to this and this is what's going to make it once the final product is rehydrated so that it's juicy again instead of being all dried out but we've browned it a little bit with what we were doing in the last step and now we're adding back some succulent juices that will pick up the flavor from that coconut cream absorbing from the flavor in the TVP and then this way the final product won't be all dry and hard when you rehydrate it in the field and I will say that this is done. This is the time to take a quick test of the TVP and decide if it needs a little dash more of the Braggs or not. But as far as I'm concerned this is perfect as is and we're ready to move on to dehydration. Spread the TVP thinly onto dehydrator trays and place them in your dehydrator for 8 to 12 hours at 130 degrees. You can optionally divide it before putting it onto the dehydrator trays into 2.5 ounce portions. Once the TVP is dehydrated, it's going to come out of the dehydrator in clumps that are stuck together. And the edges can be kind of sharp, so it's a good idea to briefly place it in a food processor, not to turn it into dust, but just to break the clumps up. You can also do this by hand or by using a mortar and pestle, it'll just take more time. It should just take a few pulses to get the job done. A Vitamix equipped with the dry milling container does an even better job. Place the finished product into freezer bags as follows. For small tortillas, divide into 0.8 ounce portions. And for large tortillas, double that and make it 1.6 ounce portions. Don't forget to place your corn chips, cheese sauce, and tortillas into another bag or storage device so that you can bring all of it together with you on the trail. Because the TVP comes out of the dehydrator with some sharp edges that could possibly punch some holes in my bags, even after I grind it, I just don't like taking chances. 
So I always bring a second bag with me on the trail that I dedicate just for purposes of rehydration. I take the first bag, slip it into the second, and then I'll add my hot water to it and put it into my cozy just to make sure that there isn't any accidental leakage. Rehydration is just a simple matter of boiling about a quarter of a cup, actually just a little bit less than that. And we're going to add that into our bag, but you always want to reserve a little because this may take a little less than you think and you don't want to have it so that it ends up being too watery. So just take it with some water, mix it in, and I'm placing this into a cozy. I really love this cozy. I have had a few people ask me about it. It's from Simple Outdoor Solutions. It's a lot lighter and a lot better than the grade that I could make myself. And it's got Velcro that will allow me to keep it closed and will also work as a handle when I'm in camp if I wanted to use it to hold it this way so that I can eat it. So I'm going to close this up and give it about five minutes, maybe closer to ten. Mix it around a little bit to make sure that the water is going into the TVP. And then I'll check on it in a few minutes. And if it looks like it needs a little more water, it's no problem with adding more. But if you add too much, you're going to have a problem because the dish will turn out too watery and you really can't take it out without losing some of the flavor and you don't want to dilute that. So just add part of the water, give it a few minutes and see if it needs some more. Final assembly is just a matter of scooping in some of each of the ingredients. Now I'm using a smaller tortilla here so this is going to be more like two portions, but if you get one of those really giant sized tortillas, you can make it into one. So I'm going to add my TVP. Add some of the corn chips. And then we'll add a little bit of the cheese sauce. And this is starting to look good. Before we give this our final taste, let's just go through a few of the key points to make sure that when you make this dish at home, it will come out perfect for you every time on the trail. First, when initially cooking the TVP, make sure to brown it nicely. Don't let it get stuck to the bottom of the pan and keep moving it around. That will make sure that everything gets done evenly. The most critical part in making sure that this dish turns out for you perfectly on the trail is to rehydrate it properly. You don't want to add too much water to it. Start off by adding just about enough water to cover almost the entire thing. Mix it around into the TVP. Place it into your cozy for about 5 to 10 minutes and then check on it. If it needs a little bit more water you'll be fine to add it. But if you add too much, you're going to be stuck and you can't take it away. I can't stress this point enough. All right, let's see how it came out. Mmm. You've got the crunch and then you've got the flavor of the TVP. It's excellent. This is definitely going to be a winner for me. And I'll bet that it'll soon become a favorite of yours too. Hey, if you've enjoyed watching this and other videos in this series, please take a second to click on the box in the upper left hand corner when we sign off and subscribe so that you won't miss out on future videos. See you next time.